Here's a quick update on the bite from northern Wisconsin. Now, since my last update, the significant change we've experienced is a dramatic drop in water temperature. Now, in my last update, we had water temperature in the low to mid 60s, and today, it's a nice one, today we're experiencing water temperature in the upper 50s. Now, that significant drop in springtime water temperatures has really had a dramatic impact on fish locations and attitudes. Let's check out the details. Now, the major change from the crappie's perspective is that they've pulled off of shallow wood and have moved into deeper woody areas. Whereas last week, we were fishing for crappies in one to three feet of water. Now we're finding those fish still around wood, but much deeper, about eight to 10 feet of water. Now a secondary change from the crappie's perspective is that now that the water has gotten cool again, they're holding much tighter to cover. They're far less willing to chase a bait than they were just a week ago when the water was warmer. Now what that means from your perspective is that high precision casts to these high percentage areas are going to be required until the water starts to warm up again. an incredibly valuable tool that helps me to fish very methodically around these very specific crappie locations is the spot lock feature on the iPilot link system that I have installed in my Minn Kota Altera. What the spot lock feature does is help to maintain my boat's position at a precisely defined set of GPS coordinates. Coordinates that I can set with either my remote or with my Humminbird fish finder. Now, just like all the other iPilot functions, that spot lock feature is really a workload reducer. It's gonna manage all the boat control issues for me so I can focus all of my attention on presenting baits to these cold water crappies. Let's have a quick peek at how we're rigged up today. I've just got a simple 1 32nd ounce jig rigged with a white crappie tube. Real simple tackle here on the business end. Now to that jig and tube combo, I've got about a foot long mono leader. This is eight pound test. I'm fishing around a lot of wood, so I want to avoid snapping off jigs constantly. I've got a braided main line, and that braided line coupled with a really sensitive rod. Here I've got a seven foot St. Croix Legend Extreme. That combination is gonna help me detect those very light cold water crappie bites and help me put more fish in the boat. When you're experiencing this real variable spring weather, great way to stay on top of fish is to turn to rivers. River fish in general are less impacted by poor spring weather conditions. These are fish that have to feed all the time just to deal with the strength of the current. There's a good walleye. And a great example of the kind of fish that you can catch under real adverse weather conditions by looking to rivers.